So prison time, the, the night that changed your life forever. You were high. I think you tried to break into a house. Your friend. Well, I didn't try to break in. I tried to get the guy's attention, so I broke his yeah. window. But <clears throat> I wasn't trying to break in. So if what... I was trying to do that, I wouldn't have made all that noise. So what yeah. happened then? So you've tried. You smashed a window, and then an undercover copper pulls out. Well, everything. he wasn't undercover. He was off duty. He lived next door. He came outside, I guess, to see what was going on. I was leaving by that point because I couldn't get the guy's attention. As I'm walking away, I heard a male voice say, don't move. That's when I turned, and that's when I started getting shot. So he's just started shooting you? That's correct. And then you've ran, and then the friend you were with, who was the friend? I was with uh, my ex-girlfriend's father. His name was Stephen Armendo. Was he a nutcase? Yeah, he was nuts. And he killed the copper? Yeah. And he got shot, what, he seven shot, times yeah, or something? he got shot anywhere from six to nine times. I know he got shot several times, so. And when when did you wake up and realise the damage, what damage had been done? It was a couple of days later I woke up in the hospital after having, you know, my spleen removed, part of my colon. And I remember there was a doctor, he bought me the newspaper and he said, you proud of yourself? Look, you killed a cop. What's that moment going through your mind? Is that the worst moment of your life? Yeah, because I always thought to myself, you know, maybe one day it's like my worst nightmare. I'm going to wake up in a jail cell and someone's going to be dead and it happened. That's kind of what happened. Instead of being in jail cell, I was handcuffed to the hospital bell bed. But I just couldn't believe like where my addiction took me, that someone's dead now because of this, you know? But they say cop and stuff like that, but that doesn't make it any better or any worse. It's a human being mm -hmm. lost his life. Yeah, know? but it's... it's as much as it's a heartbreaking story and it's a sad story, you never killed him either. Do you know what I mean? But does, whose idea was it to go to the house? My my idea. Does that play in your mind that it was your idea, but yet he ended up... If, he, if you never went with that idea, then he's not going to be there. But again, hindsight and all that, you can never, you can never change it. But does it play in your mind? Well, of course it does. <clears throat> and yeah, he had a gun, unbeknownst to me. But... If he was there, I was there, and he had the gun, I don't. nothing would have happened other than a broken window because eventually we would have realized the guy's not there and we would have left. <clears throat> I mean, he killed the police officer, but the police officer shot him first. I'm not saying that it was right in either way, but as a normal human reaction, if you have a gun, whether it's a police officer, whether it's a civilian, if someone's shooting you as a normal human reaction, you're going to shoot back, right? Life or death. You know, so it's just a terrible thing all yeah. the way around. You know, his family, of course, him dying. My family, what they went through. My dad, you know, needed a heart transplant. He's dead now. So, you know, there was it was a terrible thing on both sides. How long were you in hospital for? In the beginning? Yeah. Uh, uh, only a few days. Were you in a coma? No. I was on life support maybe the first day, and then I got better. Like I said, they took my spleen out and stuff like that. But I, we got there December 10th, and I was in the hospital the 10th until probably the 19th. And then the 19th is when they moved us to Rikers Island. What did the media do? Was that a field day for them? Oh, yeah, Absolutely. Because they're already, like, when a cop dies and gets killed, that's already a big story for them. Mm -hmm. But then when, you know, it's at the hands of an actor that people know in an iconic New York classic film, it was big for them. It was definitely a big story. So what happens when it goes to court? What are you charged with? Are you charged with culpable or break house breaking? Or are you, you charged with murder? Like, what are you charged with if you get shot? I got charged with uh, felony murder. It's murder of the second degree felony murder because it was in the commission of a felony. What sort of sentence would you look for that? That would have been 25 to life. 20 what? to life, 25 to life, yeah. Because it's like, <clears throat> felony murder means you attempt to commit and you commit in furtherance or in immediate flight therefrom, a felony. So that means if we go rob a store and some old lady's in there, she has a heart attack because she's afraid, that's felony murder. You killed her. Even though she just died of a heart attack, you didn't even touch the lady, but because you're robbing the store, and it caused her to have a heart attack, that's felony murder. So it's the same thing as you shooting her. You're going to go to, if they find you guilty of that felony, you're going to jail for felony murder. What are you thinking then when they've charged you with that? 
I didn't even know it was a charge. I wasn't well versed in the law and all that. I've never been in trouble like that to where I had to like look up these charges. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, let me, you know. So I'm thinking to myself, I'm charged with murder. Hell, I didn't even have a gun. He got shot. I didn't have a gun. I, I, I didn't I kill him. And then like, oh, well, it's felony murder. I was like, oh, wow. Then I realized this is serious. It was already serious because somebody died. But the fact that they were charging me as a murderer, that was scary. And I was also charged with burglary. Yeah, you can you can accept that one, though. Yeah, so I mean, if it looks like... Because it's like, yeah, it's a broken window. You got drug addicts. But that's all, like, a lot of that's circumstantial. Because think about it. Okay, we're drug addicts and we broke a window, but does that mean we're actually robbing? By breaking the window, could we have maybe not been trying to get the guy's attention or other things? So you're saying that the broken window only means burglary? No. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Yeah. So when you're in prison then, going through that, were you still getting high? Or were you trying to get your head sorted? Where's this? In prison. Were you still... In the beginning, getting I was still getting that? high. I got... I got what was the paranoia like in your cell? You know, fuck fuck. I was, I was not <laughs> heroin and sniffing and, and taking morphine. Yeah. So it's no paranoia. I loved that. I just used to nod out on the dope and itch. And just used to, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it kind of took, like you were saying, like, you know, you, you, your life's going nowhere and you're fucking in with mine. It's definitely not going anywhere. I think I may stay, be in jail for the rest of my life. So it was a tough pill to swallow. So I had no part in death. But I was taking these pills and storing this just so I didn't have to feel the pain of that of my, my reality, of my current reality, which was facing life, you know, incarcerated, which was, you know, was very painful. Were you ever suicidal? Uh, no. Because that's a heavy one. High on drugs, lost your career, yeah. in prison for cop killing. It's a lot. Well, yeah, and I was shot up when it happened. <clears throat> you know what I mean? I was coming off heroin, so it was everything. That was a lot. When was the moment you decided, okay, enough's enough, I'm going going to get clean when i was an attorney visit with my friend Corey and my cousin pat when they came to see me in the box when i had an uh a dirty urine and that's when they told me we're not going to support you anymore if you keep doing this shit and for some reason it just like click like oh maybe i shouldn't do this because you overdosed in prison he says yeah well it was jail it was because the difference between jail then i went upstate to prison but i was in jail yeah i overdosed november 12 2006 what was that like it was scary <clears throat> because it's not like you're home. Is that the first time you've ever overdosed? No, I overdosed before that. I overdosed like twice before that, you know? But uh, that one was bad because it's like, you know, like I'm not in enough trouble and then this happens. It was bad, you know? I got questioned. They had New York City detectives come down. They wanted to know what was going on. And uh, it was a big investigation because it's like, this guy's a high-profile inmate. And he's getting drugs and fucking overdosing? What are you guys doing? How are you doing your job when this guy's doing this? So it was, uh, they really wanted to get to the bottom of it. What, they, what weight were you? What weight? Your weight? What, am I worse? Yeah. 132. Right now, I'm like 170. 170, 180? 170, 175. Oh. Yeah, I was like 132. It was bad. Have you got photos? <sighs> I don't you know. can send me them if you ever do, but... Is Maybe that, I that, might have one for my old ID picture. Is that at your, is that is that at your lowest then? In yeah. prison, charged with murder, overdosed, fucking can hardly walk. You've been shot up. Yeah, man, it's fucking that. That's a film. That's yeah. a movie yeah, in yeah. itself. Yeah, yeah. High profile actor, addicted to drugs, fucking involved in yeah, a no, cop that's killing, a movie. prison. You know what it is? I don't want to anger. I don't want to anger the family. I want to do it at the right. Yeah, time. I get that. You know. Um, I mean, I don't have any more obligation to them. I even be, I even won the civil case, and the preponderance, you know, that's the burden of proof is much lower, so that should speak volumes about how I was not guilty of anything. Because when you plead a civil case, I mean, it's only they only got to find you liable fifty one percent. It's by the weight of the more reliable evidence, by a preponderance of the evidence. So the more reliable evidence said that I was not guilty. 